there. Today, we are going to be learning about the importance of and the proper procedure for buzzing on the brass mouthpiece. It's very important that you be buzzing every day when you practice. It is one of the fundamental skills that all brass players need to possess. This is really worthless if this sounds like garbage. So you really need to be on this every single day. The first thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you have your tuner out. This is going to be really important if you have access to one. Mine just happens to be on my phone. There's a lot of apps out there you can download, some for free, some you pay for, but even then they're pretty cheap. So I recommend having a tuner out every single time you're going to be buzzing on the mouthpiece. Uh, the first thing you want to make sure you do after that is you want to make sure you're holding your mouthpiece properly. For a French horn or a trumpet, you're going to want to hold it just with a couple fingers right by the tip here. For trombone or tuba mouthpieces, you can actually balance it on your thumb right in front of your mouth. Uh, the mouthpiece is heavy enough, you can do that just fine. The idea there is you don't want to be putting too much pressure as you buzz your mouthpiece. Okay. Uh, second thing, you want to make sure you have your embouchure set properly. The general place to go to for all brass players is going to be right in the middle of your mouth and 50% upper lip, 50% lower lip. French horn players may go a little bit more on the upper lip, but really that's a matter of personal preference. You're also going to want to make sure for most brass players that you're going to have kind of a half smile. You don't want to pull your corners all the way back, but you also don't want them to be flabby and out front. So you want to be about at a half smile, just like you're making that sound. And very simply, I'm going to set my embouchure, 50%, and make sure I get a good sound on the mouthpiece. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to play a note, and that's going to be the note that I shoot for. In this case, I'm going to be going, going for concert F or G on my trumpet. And I'm checking my tuner, so I'm good there. Now I want to keep thinking that pitch and buzz that pitch on my mouthpiece. So that's what I want to go for is a smooth, consistent tone, which is going to be caused by having good, smooth air coming out of my mouthpiece. So the first thing I want to do there is I want to get that smooth air going. I want to have that good tone. Then I can go on to more complicated exercises. So I might do a simple Remington exercise. And again, I'm going to play it first so I can hear it before I buzz it on my mouthpiece. Again, checking my tuner. I'm going to go right to the mouthpiece. And I could go through the entire Remington series that way. Uh, I could also do things like lip slurs. Again, just holding the mouthpiece just by the tip here. Once I go through and begin my warm-up routine with those things, I'm going to move on to some more complicated exercises. Uh, I could actually go on just to playing entire songs. Again, playing the tune first so I have it in my head. Anything I can play in tune on my mouthpiece is going to come out way more in tune on my trumpet. If I was having a problem getting the notes, maybe if I could hear the song in my head but couldn't get it to come out on the mouthpiece, what I might do is back up and do some more basic exercises, just doing some sirens. Doing something like that and trying to get higher notes and lower notes, and those are going to be controlled by how tight I'm holding my embouchure. The tighter I pull back my corners, the higher the note I'm going to get. The looser my corners, the lower the note. Although I can hit a point where if it's too loose, the tone just goes away. 
and I'm not going to get anything. So I don't want to get past that point. I still want to keep it firm enough to get a good tone. So, again, to review, have your tuner. Make sure you're holding the mouthpiece properly. Set your embouchure, half smile, 50-50. You're going to want to make sure that you are playing on the instrument first. So I'm going to play my note, then play it on the mouthpiece. And then I could always go back and play it again on the instrument just to double check the pitch. I can do simple exercises like a Remington or sirens up and down before I move on to buzzing entire songs. Very much needed every single time you are playing your instrument. It should be a basic part of your warm-up routine every day. So I hope that has been informative for you, and I hope that you will make that a regular part of your routine. Enjoy. Thank you.